the equipment is critical. In the old days, we had uh, no dental x-ray. We had a single set of dull instruments. We had a dental unit, uh, but like cutting a tooth was a round wheel that if you press too hard, it stopped the wheel. It smelled a burning bone. It was, you know, a five minute procedure to cut a, a you know, a carnasal in half. Now it's, you know, we have high speed drill bits. It's fun. It's cool tools and zip it right in half. And it uh, makes it easier, makes your job a lot easier as far as doing these surgical extractions that we now know how to do. Dental x-ray, you know, God only knows what we missed in the last 20 years. <laughs> We've always done a good job with dentistry. Um, the stumbling block we had was not having digital imaging. Once we've gotten digital imaging, um, everybody feels more comfortable doing what we're doing. Um, there's an old saying you need to inspect what you expect. If you expect to have roots out and you can't tell, now with dental imaging we now know that. So our, the equipment has allowed us to step up our game and, and improve the quality of care that we're providing for clients. I think dental x-rays have been very important for us. Before the Minmark program we actually had dental x-rays. A machine sat here for seven years that we had dip tanks for and because it was so difficult to take x-rays we didn't do it. We knew we had to do it, we just didn't do it. And so the dental x-ray has been a great source for us to be able to take pictures, let our technicians take photographs and we actually can monitor these teeth and follow up subsequent dentals as far as by documenting those things. Probably the biggest change in our standards of care um, with regards to, to our dental practice is, is the addition of uh, digital dental radiography. That was a new addition you know, with the, the Midmark study uh, and it just gave us capability that we never had before. Uh, and so now we you know, radiograph any, any area or any tooth that has an indication and we're finding problems that, that we otherwise never would have known were there. Uh, and I think that's really raised the standard of care uh, dramatically, both for what we can do and also for identifying even disease that may be outside the scope of the services that we provide. But you can identify that disease before you're halfway through the extraction and you realize there's a bigger problem that, that needs a specialist and maybe refer that case um, before you know, you're know elbows deep, so to speak, in a bad situation that, that uh, you're not equipped to deal with. I think the biggest transformation in terms of equipment is the addition of digital dental x-ray. That's absolutely key uh, to provide high-level veterinary dentistry. I think without digital dental x-ray, it's incredibly inefficient. And when it becomes inefficient, you don't want to do it. It takes too much time, so you're much more apt to ignore something that you really shouldn't ignore. In terms of a digital x-ray, if something goes wrong, you know, I can't fix it. So you obviously want somebody that's been in the business and they're reputable and, and somebody you can uh, call on the phone if you're having a problem get an immediate answer. You don't, you know, you get what you pay for. Um, I don't even know really what uh, the price comparison is. I just know that, I don't know that we've had a single day of downtime with any of our equipment and we use it every day. We do a lot of dentistry.